questions about this here question here, which was number four in um, yesterday's assignment. And okay. So uh, we have 27.2 liters of 3.81 molar hydrobromic acid. And we're mixing that with 72.8 liters of sodium hydroxide. And we're producing a solution with a pH of 3.11. And we want to know what the concentration of this base is going to be. What is the concentration of the base? So we know our concentration of our acid, we add a bunch of sodium hydroxide to it, we will know our ending volume, and we know the pH of our ending solution. So by proxy, we'll, we'll be able to figure out what our ending concentration of H plus will be. Our ending concentration of H plus will be. So uh, let's, let's get started here. So we have 27 I'm going to change my color here. We have 27.2 liters. So we want to know how many moles of hydrobromic acid we actually have. So we have 27.2 liters of 3.81 molar. So that's 3.81 moles of HBr HBr per liter of solution. So our liter units cancel, and we should be left with moles of HBr here. Now, if we consider the dissociation expression of HBr, and there's a big equilibrium arrow in one direction, not so much in the other direction, because it's a strong acid, so we have H plus and Br minus. And this here thing here is the thing that we really care about. What we care about. Because, I mean, we're dealing with acid base neutralization, right? So the thing that contributes acidity to the whole system is the one that we want to convert this to. So we're going to multiply this these moles of HBr that we've found uh, by our stoichiometric ratio of HBr to H plus. So for every, uh, so we get one mole of H plus for every mole of HBr. All right, moles of HBr will cancel. Hello. And uh, then we can just multiply across and find out how many moles of HBr we have. So 27.2 times 3.81 gives us 103.632. And then now, you know, if under many circumstances, we might, okay, so we want to, we want to know how many, so we're going to, um, we want to know how many mole, or what the concentration of the base is, what the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is. So we know that after neutralization, so we have uh, 27.2 liters of acid and 72 point, we, we mix 27.2 liters with 72.8 liters which gives us an ending solution uh, that's going to be 100 liters. We have 100 liters. And it has a pH of 3.11. So Remember that pH is, you know, it's the negative log of the concentration of H plus, right? 
which also means that 10 to the negative pH is our concentration of H plus. So if we solve for concentrate, concentration of H plus there, um, we do that by uh, uh, raising 10 to the negative power of that pH there. I'm just trying to monkey around with my, I don't know what's going on with my, there we go. So 10 to the negative pH is our concentration of H plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, rewrite this 100 as a power of 10. I'm going to cancel our leaders. Ten to the two times ten to the minus three point one one gives us ten to the negative one point one one. So that's what you know that's how these when you multiply two you know, like the same base to a power, what you end up doing is you add the two powers together, right? You add the exponents. So 10 to the minus, negative 1.11 is our concentration of H plus. Sorry, no, 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 no. That's, that's the number of total moles of H plus in our ending solution. So we start with 103.632 moles of H plus, and we end up with 10 to the minus 1.11 moles of H plus in our ending solution. So we want to find out what the difference is, because that's how that's how much we've neutralized. When we like if we take what's left over and we subtract it from what we started with, we should end up with how much we've neutralized. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take 103.632 and I'm going to subtract 10 to the negative 1.11. And I get 1.03 I'm sorry, 103.554, I can't, I can't write and talk at the same time, 103.554.3753, and that's moles of H plus that we've neutralized. All right. So in order to neutralize all that, what, what we need to have done is uh, we needed that concentration of, uh, like we, we needed that many moles of OH minus. Now concentration, we needed this many moles of OH minus. So uh, what, what do we have? We have sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. And we have a volume of sodium hydroxide. But um, so if we write our dissociation expression for sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and we assume 100% dissociation. NaOH goes to Na plus and OH minus. Okay, 
So for every mole of sodium hydroxide, we get one mole of OH minus. So we need 103 point, we need this quantity, this many moles of OH minus, we'll get that from that many moles of sodium hydroxide. So we know that this is how many moles of sodium hydroxide we needed in this volume of starting solution. Concent the, the question though is what's the concentration of the base? So we have that many, so we have 103.55437, that many moles sodium hydroxide. This is gonna be just, we're just gonna say that's moles of sodium hydroxide. Because that's how many moles we needed in order to neutralize all of that H plus and get to this pH at the end. So we had that many moles in I'm going to move that down of that many moles in 72.8 liters 72.8 liters so I take that value and I divide it by 72.8. Divide by 72.8, and that should give us our ending concentration, which is 1.422 mole per liter. NaOH. Ta -da. So that's that's that one. All right, I'm gonna stop recording and move along with things.